Our next story takes us here to the heart of this country's green automotive industry, Dearborn, Michigan, where research is constantly underway for not only greener ways to drive, but also greener ways to build a car. Now we all want to buy products that are good for the environment, but many of us aren't satisfied with the choices. It's especially difficult when you're buying a car. From hybrids to electric cars that plug into the wall to vehicles running on biofuels, there are a variety of new ways to drive green. But which is the right one for you? Many of the auto industry's biggest players are trying to guess which type of car green conscious auto buyers like you will want and are bringing that specific type of car to market. Their hope is that most consumers will switch to driving something vastly different in order to go green. But is it realistic to expect someone who drives a pickup truck to swap it for a small electric car? Or that someone who lives in a rural area can get by with driving just 50 miles per day? So really there are different customers that have different needs and what's important is to have all of these technologies for the different customers. Ford Motor Company has a different strategy. They're developing green technology for virtually every type of vehicle and every type of buyer. Ford's idea is that everyone, whether they live in the city or country, have a daily commuter car or a big work truck, have a big family to drive around or a family of one, should be able to drive green. So in the near future, they're going to offer a whole portfolio of fuel-efficient and eco-friendly vehicles, a green vehicle for everyone. What we see is a uh, not any one single bullet, you know, any one, you know, one answer to the technology, but rather a portfolio of solutions. So ranging from electric vehicles to hybrid vehicles to our um, our fuel efficient uh, gasoline and diesel vehicles. So really a whole uh, gamut of that. So it's important for us to find solutions in every one of those technologies. A great way to look into the future of green vehicles coming from this automotive giant is to tour Ford's Electrified Vehicles Product Development Center in Dearborn, Michigan. Here Ford is developing hybrids, plug-in hybrids, all electric vehicles, and the next generation of fuel efficient gas vehicles called EcoBoost. What's most exciting is the fact that we're working on several technologies that are all making it into production and real customers are, are driving it or soon to be driving. So for example, we're starting with the, our high volume solution from a fuel economy standpoint, which is uh, what we call EcoBoost, which is direct injection with turbocharging. And what that does is could give up to 20% improvement in fuel economy and up to 15% reduction in CO2. From green powertrain technology to greener materials in cars. Of course, driving green doesn't just mean using less gas. How about using renewable and sustainable materials in building the car as well? Again, Ford is leading the way in using natural, non-petroleum-based materials to make today's latest models. I think most people wouldn't be aware that 85% of the vehicle is recyclable. So that means that we're always looking for new materials that we can use and ways to recycle so we have a, a total cycle that we're not putting things in landfills. But we're looking for materials also that are really biomaterials. We're looking at as many um, scrap materials like wheat straw, like the hair off of coconuts. And the objective is to use something that is plentiful and in excess. We are looking at every fiber you can imagine. We're looking at tree, um, fibers, cellulose, we're looking at wheat straw, and that's actually implemented at Ford. We're looking at grass, Indian grass, big blue stem um, grass, coconut hair, so the hair off of the outside of a coconut. These are all waste products that if we can put them into plastics, they will lightweight the plastic materials and improve fuel economy and also give a better environmental life cycle. Our achievement was to incorporate soybeans into polyurethane foams. And it wasn't an easy task. Here's where we started, and here's where we ended up meeting every single requirement for durability and performance on the 2007 Mustang. Just about every single Ford vehicle has soy-based seat cushions and backs, but that's just the start. Here is 100% corn-based fabric that is completely compostable. The same with this bag is made entirely from corn the film. I'm excited about um, reducing the amount of petroleum 
that's used for plastics in vehicles. I think we have to develop the alternatives and I feel like we're at the cutting edge of doing that. So it's very exciting to see what type of products you can make from a crop that's grown. It's all about a new practical and affordable green technology movement by Ford with materials and technology that allows any car driver to find a green driving solution from a broad portfolio of cars and trucks. It's a passion. We have passion uh, to get the customer excited about that fuel economy and the range they get. So the answer to driving green isn't just one vehicle or a single technology. It's really a portfolio of vehicles and technology solutions that will improve fuel economy and lower CO2 emissions for customers around the globe.